Welcome, welcome. This is Coach Janine, and in this episode, we are going to be talking about how to get on the road to success. I've got three L's, three things you must do. You must love you, lose the excuses, and learn something new each day. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with who I am, I own Dreamcatcher. I'm a business and career coach. I'm a Marine Corps veteran, did 20 years in the Marine Corps. I've worked as a psychologist, and I just love helping people. But I don't do well with people who like to make excuses. So, you know, I, I just feel like we've all been given God-given talents, and we need to use them, and we need to just maximize our full potential and I don't understand why anybody would not want to be the best that they can be. Now, the first thing I often see happen is we as women and just really even military veterans, we put everyone else first. So whether you're a business owner, a mom, a dad, wife, husband listening to this, I'm sure you're going to be able to relate to a lot of this because you often find yourself very short on time and energy. And like I just said, you usually put everybody first, but I want you to remember this. It only takes people about 15 seconds, some people say even only 3 to 5 seconds, before someone sums you up and forms an opinion. And I know that's not nice, but we all do it. People are looking at your body language. Do you hold your head up proud, your shoulders back, walk into a room like you own it? Or are you looking tired and haggard and like you're on your last leg? What about the way you dress? Do you no longer care? Do you wear soiled, spotted, stained, bleach stained clothes when you go in public? Is your hair neat or do you have this wild curly mess like I do at times where all of a sudden I'll look in the mirror and it's like, oh my God, I hope no one saw me looking like this because those little wispy things have taken a life on their own and I look like I should be in a horror movie or something. And do you, you know, you, also do you take time to press your clothes? I have people I love dearly who are just very proud. They don't own an iron. They throw everything in the dryer. Well, I'm sorry, that doesn't cut it. That doesn't cut it. People are looking at you all the time. And think about the things that are coming out of your mouth. Are you a whiny person? Nobody wants to be around the grump either or the one that just is negative. Negative people pull you down. They drain your energy. It can be exhausting. You might not even get to say anything, but they just exhausted you with their negativity. So kind of sometimes sit back and, and catch yourself. What are you saying? How are you operating? Are you in operating in a positive place or a negative place? So as we keep going forward, the focus of this is putting you first and reclaiming the person you used to be. Because you didn't used to be a mom and a dad or a spouse or a veteran. You were just a carefree kid with not not worrying about anything probably. Think back to what you really wanted to be and who you wanted to be and what you wanted to do. Let's find that person. But again, you've got to be willing to adopt three L's. You've got to love you. You've got to lose the excuses. And that one's really hard for people at times. You've got to be willing to learn something new. So let's start with the first one. Loving you. You know, you've got to make time each day or you. And that could be, you know, just exercising, putting on clothes with a purpose, putting on your makeup. But you've got to fall in love with who you are. Remember, if you're a female listening to this show, 
when you were in high school or junior high, you could spend like two, three hours getting ready for school. You'd get up like at four or five in the morning to do your hair and your makeup and pick out the perfect thing. How much time do you spend now? 10 minutes? 20 minutes? But you got to make time to take care of you. And it's not greedy to love you. It's not narcissistic to take pride in yourself, your appearance, and want to feel good and look good. Now the other L here is losing the excuses. Oh, I don't have time because I'm a mom or I've got to get to work or I've got to walk the dog. Lose the excuses, folks. We could all make excuses all day long. And that's not going to get us any closer to our goals. It's not going to get us on the road to success. It's going to keep us stuck. Can't blame the economy. Our children, our spouse, or our pet. No more. No, no, no. Take ownership of why you're doing or not doing what you know you need to be doing. Accept responsibility for the way things are right now and know you can change them. Do you want to change them? How badly do you want to change them? Maybe your finances are just in the toilet. Well, okay, they got there somehow because yes, maybe you were too busy and you did not focus on them. Maybe you accepted the wrong clients who are always late paying and your late fees because they paid late, you paid your bills late. Accept responsibility, ownership, and figure out how to change it, how to dig out from that hole. If you created kids that just are nagging and ugly little monsters, and we've all done it, me included, it's time to learn to say no. Set those boundaries. Take back some of your quiet time, your personal time. Get organized. Be in control. And that's what's going to happen when you lose the excuses. You're going to take ownership. We could do a whole other section instead of the L's on O's. Ownership. Organized. And I bet you'll feel better. You'll be less stressed when you're organized and in control of your situation. To be on the road to success is wonderful. It can be wonderful. And again, you'll have less stress and anxiety when you're in control, when you're organized, when you face reality and design a strategy, a plan to move forward. And yes, these all take time and you're going to have to carve out the time to focus on these things. It may require getting up a little bit early, an hour early. That's okay, right? Why not? My favorite quote from Benjamin Franklin, there's plenty of time to sleep when you're dead. And I totally agree with that. As a business owner, you know, that we all work the long hours. And I think a lot of people don't realize that when they go into business, that it is a 26, 28 hour day, not a 24 hour day. You learn to maximize your time. Yes, you feel tired. But part of this being on the road to success and creating a lifestyle that allows you to fall in love with you and love what you're doing is carving out those boundaries and time for exercise. Taking care of you. Quality time. Now, the third L is learning something new. Fundamental part of being successful is always being in learning mode. Don't think, I think the best, this is a great piece of advice, and I think I got it from my mastermind partner, Linda Griffin. Don't be 
too big for the room. Don't go into a, a, a conference or a meeting thinking you know everything. And I've heard from some somewhere else, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. You, you want to be with people who inspire you, who pull you forward to learn, to grow. It's that personal growth. Again, I don't think that's greedy to keep striving. You know, we hear people calling everybody, you know, they're so entitled and this and that. I don't know how we got to that part where everybody wants to lay down and play dead and have the same thing that somebody who went and got a PhD or you know, an advanced degree or skill or spent years and decades honing a skill, whether it's cake decorating, event planning, something like that. You know, why does somebody think that they don't have to put in the time to reap those same rewards and benefits? Everybody wants to sit home and do nothing but still have the luxury vehicle, the iPhone. No, those things require work. And that's where this learning something new and continually growing and expanding your mind and your business and being more for whether, even if you're a grandparent, just staying aware of what's going on in the news because guess what? you got little people looking at you for answers, for wisdom. Don't stop. Invest in you. Invest in growing personally and professionally. That's when you go to conferences, attend tele, ugh, I can't talk, teleseminars, teleclasses, belong in a mastermind group. My mastermind group is wonderful. I even learn from them. And, you know, it kind of goes back to don't think you know everything. And I tell them, I don't know everything. I learn from my clients. Even today, I was trying to think of a catchy title, and I am not the creator of catchy titles. I posted in my mastermind group, this is the topic, I need a catchy title. Everybody had wonderful titles. I benefit from my mastermind group just as much as they do. That's the growing personally and professionally. Making a conscious effort to push the boundaries, to get out of that comfort zone. You know, I heard somebody say once that if you're, you don't have the butterflies in the stomach, you're not pushing yourself. Do something that's bold and daring. You know, just take the leap of faith. I have on here, working with a coach makes it easy to invest in you. Yes, it does. And I, I know for some that's a painful it's almost like they have to swallow their pride. And I'm like, coaching is not for somebody who's failing. It's coaching is for somebody who wants to play bigger, better, do more, reach their full potential, tap into the things they've been wanting to but have been hesitant to. Not for, you know, failing businesses. and I mean, it can be, but that's not why most people hire a coach. They want to just continue to grow. And it's easier to do it when you have somebody at times pulling you along, pushing you, kicking you in the backside and saying, you can do this. And what's the worst that happens? It doesn't turn out right? Well, then we know that one doesn't work and you try something else. I think it was Edison or somebody, I, I want to say it was Edison, it took like a 100,000 times or a 1,000 times before he got the light bulb to work right. And he says, I didn't fail a 1,000 times. I just learned a 1,000 ways that it didn't work. Change your perspective. Flip that script in your head. And again, you know, we're living to 100. My grandma just passed away at 101. I'm 51. I got another 50 years of living to do, and I'm going to maximize it. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm 50, I'm middle aged, or I'm old. I don't even feel middle aged. There's nothing more for me to learn. Oh my gosh, how silly would that be? You look at some of these people with cell phones right now who are in their 70s and 80s. If they took the mentality they weren't going to learn anything new, they wouldn't know how to work a DVR or the cable remote or their smartphone. We've got to constantly be learning. They don't even think they make a rotary dial phone anymore if anybody listening knows what those are. So you've got to invest in learning. 
And again, don't dismiss the investing in you as being greedy, selfish. You know, there's going to be those people in your family I'm, and around you, even friends, who will be whiny and, and you know, upset they don't get you 24-7. But you owe it to yourself to be you, to invest in you. It'll make you a better person, a smarter, brighter, more more fun to be around because you'll be full of new energy and life and, and you know, just happy. So, again, when you adopt the three L's, you're going to be on the road to reclaiming your life and being a successful business owner, a successful mom, dad, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, community volunteer. Everyone's just going to find you more pleasant to be around. And it's going to come across in the way you carry yourself. You're going to, without even paying attention to it, you're going to be taking better care of yourself. You're going to be holding yourself up with a little bit more pride. And that's going to show. And when we first talked about the appearance, I want you to remember, regardless if you're a business owner or an employee, community volunteer, school volunteer, people treat people better when they look like they demand authority, respect, or that they're somebody. That may sound harsh, but it's reality. Do you see that well put together person, nice, crisp, you know, clean clothes, iron clothes maybe, their hair is put together, you're like, wow, they're somebody. I don't know who they are, but they, or they're a movie star or they're super intelligent and politician or somebody that we better, you know, ooh and ah over. And then, and I think we all know somebody who's made that mistake. They see somebody who looks near homeless or like they're homeless, and we find out they're the one with the mega millions. Now, I like to think at that point, you know, you, you're no longer looking shabby. You're, you're considered eccentric. But until you can be at the considered eccentric, appearance does matter. You know, if you go into school in your PJs and fluffy slippers, yeah, the teachers, I'm sorry, are going to be talking about you. Do you see so-and-so's mom or dad? <laughs> Or is it, oh wow, this woman comes put together, drops her kids off, you know she means business and she she runs a tight ship at home. She's going to be one who backs us. She's not going to give us any grief. So again, fall in love with who you are. If you don't remember who you are, give me a call. We need to do some work on finding out who you want to be, who you used to be. Does that person still exist, or have you reinvented yourself? Love you, lose the excuses, and learn something new. <coughs> Excuse me. Because again, the road to success is paved with the three L's. Love you, lose the excuses, and learn something new by investing in you. Thank you for viewing this presentation. If you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends and family. Follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, over on Google+. I'm pretty much everywhere out there online. And look forward to staying connected. And again, you can also go over to my website, CoachJane.com. And there's always a free download. Sign up for my newsletter where I share great tips. Never spam. Don't like spamming. But I want you to have a great afternoon. Apply the three L's. Please fall in love with yourself all over again. Learn to drop the excuses. Even if you think you don't make them, I bet you make a few. And learn something new every day. And again, when you connect with me online, I'll help you learn something new. Have a wonderful afternoon or evening. And talk to you soon.